Where we're sitting now is a huge building overlooking a vast courtyard, much bigger than anything we have in Britain. And it is the great palace in which Henry IV, your ancestor, lived. Wow. Brooke Shields' search through her father's side of the family has taken her from New York to Italy, where she discovered that her ancestors, the Torlonias, were originally French peasants that worked their way up. Their success allowed them to marry into Italian aristocracy. The scroll I was given has been invaluable. I found out all I can about the Torlonias. Now I'm using it to explore another branch of my father's family that stretches back more than 400 years. All the way at the top of the other side of the scroll is an intriguing figure, Christine Marie. She has the title underneath her of Madame Royale. Um, sort of want to know how is she connected to all this. She's the only one that has the word Royale <laughs> after her name. <laughs> so, and not being satisfied without the least bit of royal blood in my veins, I must find out about her. <laughs> Christine Marie, Marie de France. Okay, she was born in, at the Palais de Louvre. Palais de, the Louvre? She was born in the Louvre? Is that possible? <laughs> Can you be born in the Louvre? <laughs> the Palais du Louvre in Paris on the right bank of the Seine is a former royal palace. So she was born in the Louvre. That's wild. <laughs> So there is royal blood in there. <laughs> we need to go to Chez Marie, AKA the Louvre. <laughs> to unravel the mystery of her royal ancestors, Brooke Shields has come to the Louvre, the former royal palace, one of the most famous museums in the world. Hello there. Hi. Let me finish your sleep. Thank you. She's meeting expert genealogist Charles Mosley, whose specialty is royal families. That's Christine, or Christine Marie up there, mm -hmm. Madame Royale. Christine Marie, she was born in the Louvre. She was born uh, in the Louvre, and uh, there's a document here detailing her baptism. Her father was Henry IV, your ancestor. Do you know who Henry IV was? Apart from the fact that he was About the king of France. Saying, not much more than that he was the king of France. Well, he is the founder of the Bourbon dynasty, which everybody thinks of as the classic French dynasty because it remained the French dynasty till the revolution. And he was a great lover. He had many mistresses, many illegitimate children, but he also continued the line of the kings of France, which was very important in those days, and Henry IV and his successors were one of the greatest experts in building up the prestige of the monarchy, the French monarchy, which is why France still retains this terrific prestige that it does today. Where we're sitting now is a huge building overlooking a vast courtyard, much bigger than anything we have in Britain, and it is the great palace in which Henry IV, your ancestor, lived. Wow. This is Saint-Denis. It's where the remains of the kings of France are kept in sort of honorable retirement. Here we are. Okay. This chamber here contains the hearts of some of the kings of France. Your ancestor, Henry IV, he is on the far right. Yes, indeed. Okay, that's it. Oh, God. I get in trouble, but I have to do it. Yeah, I think you I, No, no, no. I, I'm... Uh, well, I don't know. Ah! If anybody's entitled to it, it's, it's your property more than anybody else's around here. I've just touched Henry IV's heart. It's just extraordinary that this even exists and the fact that there's a connection that I honestly have to it. It's, it is... I do feel awestruck about it. It just keeps getting better. Like, I keep thinking, oh, this is the culmination of it. You know, it can't be better than this. What more could possibly be revealed to me? I, I, at this point, I've stopped even trying to figure it out. I can't imagine.
The search through Brooke Shields' family tree has taken her from New York and New Jersey to the aristocrats of Italy and the kings of France. She's just discovered she's directly related to King Henry IV. But according to royal genealogist Charles Mosley, her royal ancestry doesn't end there. Here's Henry IV, your ancestor, who I hope you're not yet bored with. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yet another depiction of him, perhaps the best of the lot, in as much as it's three-dimensional. Now let us turn to his much more famous grandson, Louis XIV. He built this vast palace in which we are now, Versailles. This man, the most powerful king of his time, perhaps of all time, certainly the greatest, most glorious king in European history, is your first cousin, many generations removed. I, I, that's all too much. No matter where you turn, I'm connected somehow. Exactly, you're connected. So I am connected. I do feel connected. You made me more, feel. You're even more connected, as you'll find out in a minute. That is the Battle of Dyerbourg, won by St. Louis, your direct ancestor. So you're looking at about 25 generations back from you. He is the French king from whom Henry IV descends. He is the father of all those kings of France. And on top of that, he's a saint. Oh. Not that usual for a king to be a saint. It's, it's extraordinary. Yeah. Yesterday, you were looking at the small remains of your ancestor. Today, you're seeing a pictorial representation, uh, a representation that brings out the drama, the glory, and I suppose one has to say the glamour. And the passion. Oh, yes, absolutely. Wow. It's, no, I, I, it's fascinating to me. It's fascinating. Well, how do you feel then? Um, no, yes, now yes. I'm awestruck. It's, no, it, it, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I, I've, I've come across quite a few extraordinary genealogical links. Never anything like this. A saint, and you have a great king, and you've got Philip II, who's not a bad king, Charles V, a great emperor, Ferdinand, another emperor. You've got it all. I've got it all. Everything. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with it. Well, guard <laughs> it carefully. It. Guard I it carefully. Will. I guard yeah. it. I will guard it with my heart. <laughs> This has been an amazing exploration of both sides of my family. It's taken me from the ironbound section of New Jersey to the Palace of Versailles. Being able to sort of find your place in the grand scheme of things, there's something empowering about it. <laughs>